the MTTS light meter. This instrument is called a light meter. It measures the intensity of the blue light spectrum that is necessary to treat jaundice in infants. To start using the light meter, remove the two AAA batteries that are included in the package and insert them into the back of the device. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics guidelines, the correct wavelength for the optimal phototherapy treatment is 460 nanometers, and this light meter measures the light intensity at exactly this spectrum. According to the latest research in phototherapy treatment, the higher the intensity of the light, the faster the treatment of jaundice. Therefore, the best phototherapy machines are the ones with the highest intensity. To operate the light meter, gently touch the green power symbol with your finger. If you are measuring a single-sided phototherapy machine, the light meter will measure the light intensity using this sensor. If you are measuring a double-sided phototherapy, the MTTS light meter reads the light intensity from both sides using the sensors on the front and back of the device and will display the sum of the values. The light intensity will be shown as a number in the digital display of the light meter. When measuring the intensity of a phototherapy machine, remember not to cover the filter with your fingers as this will cause the reading to be inaccurate. To determine the intensity of the treatment the baby is actually receiving, hold the light meter directly under the light at the same height as the infant. This will indicate the actual amount of light reaching the patient's skin. Now move the light meter around slowly in all directions, like this. This will show that different positions can have different values. So you will see that positioning of the baby is very important to maximize therapeutic light exposure. The light meter can be used to measure the intensity of any type of phototherapy device, including single-sided and double-sided machines. Here you see the light meter in use with the MTTS Overhead Phototherapy V3000 and with the double-sided phototherapy, the Firefly. If you don't use the light meter for an extended period of time, please remember to remove the batteries from the light meter. This will avoid damage to the unit and will preserve the device for long-term use. In addition to help you ensure that a baby is receiving phototherapy treatment of adequate intensity, the light meter can also help you determine when a phototherapy device or its bulbs need to be replaced. A light meter can also be used as a tool for making clinical decision-making. Since more intense phototherapy treats jaundice more quickly, it is important that infants with the most severe conditions are treated with the strongest phototherapy machine available. The light meter will allow you to determine which available machines are providing the strongest therapy.